Welcome to A Wealth of Useless Knowledge, where we dive into some fun and entertaining topics. You're sure to learn something new here, and maybe even have a laugh or two. Now let's get into today's video. Really? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? I don't understand why. Why do that? Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> it goes. No, it doesn't. Put your ass up. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It does. Che ghiara. Ecco la pizza. Ma su patate. No, è ananas. Va bene. No. Oh, my God. I'm going to get the pineapple part. Oh wow. Pineapple belongs on pizza. No, it's not right to do pizza like that. I never give this kind of piece of pizza to anyone. Why? Because there is no pineapple in Italy, but I love pineapple on my pizza. Mm. This is delicious. The cheese, the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapples? Pineapple. pineapple. I go hard on the pineapples. Full coverage. Pineapple? <laughs> Dishes, pineapple pizza. Are you ah, it's the age old debate pineapple on pizza. Does pineapple even belong on pizza? Is it any good? And who the heck came up with the idea, anyways? Well, hang on tight, because we're about to take a dive into where the whole pineapple on pizza thing originated. Pizza has long been a staple in its birthplace of Naples, Italy, and has become an easy go-to meal for people all over the world, especially in the US, where there's an entire aisle of frozen pizzas in most every major grocery store and a pizza place around every corner, whether it's a quick serve chain like Domino's or Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. And as for those with a more sophisticated taste palette, there's no shortage of more rustic style pizzerias and good old mom and pop shops around town too. The emergence of pizza's popularity in the US really took hold at the end of World War II, when many soldiers were stationed in Italy and had become accustomed to the food there. Upon returning home, they began to seek out this cuisine, and luckily for them, around the same time, there was also a large immigrant population of Italians emerging in major cities like New York, Detroit, and Chicago, making the popular food even more widely accessible than it had been in years prior. Fun fact. The first known pizzeria to open in the U.S. was Lombardi's in Manhattan, New York, back in 1905, and it is still in operation to this day. Along with tons of new pizzerias opening up all over the country, also came new regional varieties of the beloved dish, like the New York style pizza known for its ultra thin crust, the Detroit style known for its square shape, and the Chicago style deep dish pizza known for its thick doughy crust. The fan favorite toppings like pepperoni and cheese have long reigned supreme, but tossed into the mix of the pizza world would soon come the ever so polarizing Hawaiian pizza to shake things up a bit. For many people, the thought of putting fruit on a pizza is utterly repulsive. But for many others, including myself, it's quite the savory sweet combo. Think bacon and syrup, salted caramel, chicken and waffles, even down to that cranberry sauce you eat with Thanksgiving dinner every year. Need I go on? Regardless of whether or not you like Hawaiian pizza though, when thought of in terms of the sweet and savory combo, it's easy to see why it's become so popular, earning a cult following. But where did this crazy creation come from anyways? A pineapple topped pizza with Canadian bacon is known all over as a Hawaiian pizza. Except, this creation didn't even come from Hawaii, you guys. Surprising? I know, right? So why is it called a Hawaiian pizza then? And where did the association with the Aloha State come from? 
Well, despite the name, the new pizza pie actually originated in Canada. Oh, Canada. That's right, folks, Canada. And the name of the pizza was derived from none other than the brand name of the canned pineapples imported to create it, rather than the origin of the dish itself. The invention of pineapple on pizza has long been credited to a Greek-born Canadian by the name of Sam Panopoulos, who created the first Hawaiian pizza at the Satellite Restaurant in Ontario, Canada, back in 1962. There have been scattered reports of pineapple making its way onto pizzas as early as in the 1950s, but Panopoulos has been largely credited for making it a thing. He co-owned a restaurant along with his brothers, and they had long been serving up things like sandwiches and pancakes, even later expanding to serve Chinese-inspired dishes like sweet and sour chicken, known for its inclusion of pineapple as a main ingredient in the dish. He had long been experimenting with flavor combinations that involved pineapple, and after a trip to Naples, Italy, he was inspired to take the leap of adding pineapple to a pizza and decided to launch it in the family's restaurant. Unsure if it would be a hit, the wait for consumer reviews ensued. It's reported that the pizza didn't catch on right away, as the flavor combo was something many people were skeptical of. But once customers took the risk and tried it out, it started to become a worthwhile addition to the menu, further solidifying the once wacky combo as a hit. Speaking of a hit, if you're still here watching and enjoying the video, why not hit the like button and subscribe? It's free and easy to do, Plus, it helps the channel out a lot, too. Keeping fun content like this headed your way. I appreciate you. Despite the popularity of the newfound flavor combo, many people were still not here for it. Specifically, many Italian Americans, according to forums and the multitude of articles that exist written on the topic. Italy itself seems to be pretty divided on this as well, as some say it goes totally against what a traditional pizza should be, and they refuse to eat it. La pizza è sacra. No. Che peccato. Why they kill the food? Why? Why? I don't understand why. No, per favore, no. No. But I honestly don't know why would they do this. No. no, no, never, no. never again in my life. First time, last time. While others don't mind it so much and think it's okay to at least have it available as an option. Naples Pizza Maestro has done the unthinkable, breaking one of Italy's most important unwritten rules. Gino Servillo added the dreaded word pineapple <laughs> to the menu at his restaurant <laughs> on the best known pizza street in the world. But this isn't just your regular Hawaiian, it is Pizza Bianca meaning it does not have a tomato base, but sprinkled with three types of cheese, with the pineapple cooked twice for a caramelized taste. Oh. Savillo said he created it to combat food prejudice, <laughs> but it's creating quite the stir in Italy. If there's any Italians out there watching this, I would love to hear your opinion on the topic, so let me know down in the comments. As for in the States, the likability of pineapple on pizza is still pretty split too. As some surveys report as many as 59% of Americans enjoying pineapple on pizza, while other studies show the percentage of people who absolutely love the topping as low as 22% and 37% liking the topping as opposed to being over the moon about it. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> it goes. No, it doesn't. Put your ass up. Yes, it does. It does. Oh, wow. Pineapple belongs on pizza. I love pineapple on my pizza. Pineapple. pineapple. I go hard on the pineapple. Full coverage. The pineapple on pizza debate is surely one that will never die, as everyone has their own unique take on the topic, which is why I really want to hear from you guys. Do you think pineapple on pizza is a great idea? Is it diabolical? Or are you indifferent? Let me know. What's your favorite pizza topping, style, or restaurant? Also, let me know what topics you'd like me to dive into next. 
If you enjoy food related content like this and want to see more, check out my foodie playlist. I'll have it linked for you in the pinned comment and in the iCards. If you found this video educational or entertaining, it would be delightful, really delightful. If you would like, share, and hit that subscribe button for more content. Don't worry, I'll wait. As always, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, keep learning.